Well, good afternoon. Welcome to another project with Indigenous Projects. Today we are working on my big brother's truck. This is a 2002 F-150 V8 with the 5.4 liter engine. Uh, and we have a oil pressure sensor leaking uh, on this truck. It's down by the oil filter, you'll see in a minute. And it is dripping oil, which is an inconvenience, annoying, and not cool because it's on my driveway. So, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, all you need is one of these. It costs what, 12 bucks at AutoZone or wherever you go online. The model number is PS407. And it's just a little bad little guy. That's all it is right there. Uh, you need a 21 millimeter socket or wrench, and that is the only tool you need for this job, 21 millimeter. Uh, you don't even need Teflon because it comes pre-coated, and uh, there's just an electrical clip. It's gonna be super easy, super fast. Let's do it. First things first, you're going to crawl under the driver's seat essentially. Uh, you'll see your oil filter up there. You're going to grab a some paper towels or your wife's washcloth and put it uh, right under that oil filter because you're going to spill some oil. This is your oil pressure sensor. That's what we're replacing and that is your oil filter obviously. This is going to be a simple project. You are going to spill oil. Please wear gloves and safety glasses. Unplug your oil sensor. As easy as that. Push the tab and pull. From there, the project is not much more difficult. Uh, here we are using a half inch ratchet with a 12 inch extension, a 21 millimeter deep socket. Uh, you just stick it over the harness. It fits just fine and start working it loose. We did switch to a six inch socket, or not six inch socket. We switched to a six inch extension. I uh, just found we had a little bit more room up closer to the unit itself. Uh, you're just gonna work it loose till you can spin it with your hands. When you do get it out, it is gonna spill some oil, not a lot. Just plug in the new one as quick as you can to eliminate the mess as much as possible. And grab your ratchet and screw it back on. It's really pretty simple, pretty easy. Like I mentioned, uh, you will get a little oil. You're underneath it, so make sure you have your protection on and your mouth closed. <laughs> um, yeah, just tighten her back up. I wouldn't recommend over torquing it by any means. Just get it to the snug point and make sure you're not cross threading. Start it by hand, just like a spark plug, just to make sure you're not cross threaded. Uh, it could possibly send off your uh, oil pressure light if it's not in there properly so just go till it feels snug I don't know what the torque specs is I didn't look it up when you're done you can plug in your wiring harness make sure it clips back into place uh, if you're struggling with it just be patient unless of course your harness is broke like this one then just put it in the best you can and uh, hope it doesn't come back out and that's it All right, so as you saw, super simple to change out that oil pressure sensor. Very easy, one tool or two. I guess we use a couple extensions, probably about 12 inches worth. Uh, 21 millimeter socket and a ratchet. That's all you need. You could probably do it with just a box wrench up to you. Uh, make sure you have a couple rags or drip pan to catch some oil. Uh, but really, super simple. We did have some oil drain out, probably, I don't know, a cup's worth, maybe two cups worth. Not a lot, uh, be ready. So. If you want to do it yourself, super simple, super easy, I believe in you, you can do it. Uh, if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button so you can see more of my videos on this truck as well as others. We have done a couple other projects on this truck, I will link them down below and up above throughout the video uh, so you can see more. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.